so I've got a secret to tell you my skin is finally glowing up y'all it's happening it's actually happening I'm gonna tell you what I did it's been very very tumultuous this road on trying to have glowing smooth non acne prone skin so I'm Latrice Kelly this channel is all about food shopping hauls and lately I do a little bit of planners I'm talking more about health and wellness so this definitely fits in that pocket I'm excited to report to you some very dramatic before pictures and how we've come a long way so stay tuned if you want to see how I'm treating this acne and what tools I have in my arsenal to help it I'm also going to give you guys a look at some of my product empties from the last couple weeks months gone by and talk about what's worked and what hasn't stay tuned Mind you, this is a freshly washed face. And I've added my toner. And so now I'm about to apply the cream medication treatment right to directly to the spots where I'm having the most issues today. It's a lot. And, and quite frankly, it's tiresome. I've already done a couple hot compress treatments on this side into the new one here. So i'm just trying to be patient but it's hard it's definitely difficult I don't know why the sudden shock of nerves just start to overrun me when I get ready to do a vlog like this because I'm not a beauty brand. However, I am beautiful, so don't get it twisted. But I want to share some of my skincare regimen with you guys because as you can plainly tell, this worked. So this routine that I've developed has worked. And part of what made it so exciting is discovering new brands and so black girl sunscreen has been magical to me and look at that glamorous beautiful bottle 30 spf is in here it has jojoba oil and avocado as well so i think this is brilliant i have not been addressing my pigmentation or my hyperpigmentation enough so this is now part of the steps i want to show you with a beautiful little gold foil mail pocket that they sent it in hi latrice say goodbye to the ash and hello to black girl sunscreen stay moisturized and protect your skin and the card says thank you there's no gray blue cast that's left behind from this so that's why it's a really great um, idea that whose time had really had come because if you buy the over-the-counter drugstore variety buy it off a website sunscreen um, it's not gonna give you the same effect as this one it really does incorporate well into your skin very creamy very rich and if I remember to link it I'll put it in the description box so whether it's raining whether it's a perfectly sunny day and you're going out your home you do need sunscreen black girls don't let nobody tell you because we're highly melanated we don't need it it's not just because of cancer protection but for hyperpigmentation it keeps those scars from settling in and getting more stubborn so that's why i stand my black girl sunscreen another thing that has been pivotal in helping alleviate my acne situation is this prescribed ointment it's called arithmicin it is a topical and I'll show you what the consistency is like. It's basically a gel and it comes out clearish. It lands on the skin, sort of transparent, but then it's going to dry and it's going to create like a little peel, if you will. It's not peeling off your skin. It's definitely just drying out the postule or the pimple. And so it can resolve itself in two days or so 
two to three days. This has been very beneficial. I have to have a lot of tools in my pocket because even though I stopped the medication that caused me to have these terrible dramatic breakouts, I still do have some lingering ones as you can plainly tell. So we're gonna still work on that by using this. All right, y'all, we gotta make it through this taping, sweating, and I got the Whitney above the lip going on. The eyebrows is faded, baby. We. I got to get through it. It's hot. They didn't turn up the heat all of a sudden in Chicago. So we're going to get through this video. Now, the next thing I want to stand is the turmeric and honey mask. It's a revitalizing mask or reviving mask. I got this from Marshall's. This is in a previous haul video. Turmeric and all its wonderful benefits have been expounded the world over. It's one of those favorite new products that are in everything or one of the favorite new ingredients that are in almost all of our beauty products helps with some lightening and fading of hyperpigmentation and acne scars. And the honey, as you all know, is a humectant, it's a moisturizer. It's good and helps pump that skin back up. So this is a treat every now and then for my face. So my next tool in my toolbox is the Ambi Fading Cream. Now, this bottle has seen better days. I've had it, all, I've had it quite a long time. Didn't think it was working at first, but then applied more consistently, consistently? <laughs> Adding consistency to the routine, as well as when to use this was critical in trying to see some results. So this is kind of a, I'm sitting in front of the TV or maybe I'm reading a book, don't have anywhere to go type of vibe, just spotting on with some cute, with a Q-tip and then let it sit and then I will take it off like two or three hours later or what have you. And so this is something you should not be afraid to use if you have hyperpigmentation, unless of course you're allergic to any of the ingredients, you should not use this. But then the other thing is people get put off by fade creams because they believe it's like a bleaching of your skin. Listen, I've told y'all a million times, I'm black and proud, dark and beautiful, and I love my tone. I'm just trying to get rid of the extra, extra, that I've developed because of acne scars. So I try to fade those marks. I'm not trying to change my skin color. That ain't it. The next, shake it, shake it, shake it. You can hear it in a bottle tip or basically a tool that's part of my acne reducing breakout routine is a prescription called doxycycline. And it's a 100 milligram cap that's taken twice a day with food or water, and it is an antibacterial. So, you know, your skin has different things going on underneath the layers that can sometimes cause a breakout. We wanna reduce those properties that cause the breakouts. So thankfully, I worked with a dermatologist while I was trying to come off that other icky medication that was causing me to have acne, cystic acne in the first place. So then I got on these pills and we've been a happy camper ever since. Okay, happy, happy girl, girl, happy, happy me, me. We, we, it's getting together, y'all. I'm finally excited to report that this is actually happening. So that's just one other option. Okay, so I told you all about the notions and potions and creams and things for your face to help improve your acne. Now I'm gonna show you some of the empties of products gone by that I've used with a lot of success, moderate success, let's get into it. So as far as cleansers goes, this is the Aveeno Clear Complexion Foaming Acne Wash. It has salicylic acid. We need some actives in our products to sometimes take down this acne, y'all. So this has been really one of the things that I've held on to. It's super empty. Gonna go restock on this soon. Get at your local drugstore, honey, it's the best. As far as my toning step, I have been using Earth to Skin Honey Manuka Toner. This brand you can find at Walmart, very surprising. Affordable product that actually works and it's mostly organic stuff in here guys. And honey, as you know, is a humectant. It adds moisture to your skin. We all have to moisturize our skin. Might be a little heavy for those of you with the oily type skin situation happening. They also have a tea timeline super fruits and super greens so check this out it's very milky in its texture 
but I would add, I added a little water towards the end to stretch it because that's how much, honestly, I liked it. I'm gonna get more of this. The other thing that's a nice cleanser is the Rose Hip Micellar Water. Now, this one is made by Asano. I found this on complete randomness at Marshalls, of course. You know that their beauty and skincare aisle and departments have a little bit of this, a little bit of that. Never heard of this line, but now I'm into it. I'm about to re-up on this as well. So that's just a couple of my product empties that we have because again, with combined with eliminating that medication that caused me to have that freakish cystic acne, looking at my diet, of course, drinking more water. Let me get my water, let me get my water, my bubba. And what I do to make my water more palatable is I put a tea bag in it. No sugar, no honey or anything added, no sweeteners, and it gives your water a nice sensation. So why the heck not? Again, so the medication, seeing a dermatologist, taking out the bad stuff, adding more good things and treating my skin well so how are you treating your skin well let me hear about it sound off in the comments what's your favorite uh super ingredient of the moment any trends that i should be looking out for if you're acne prone like me you got any other things in your toolbox you like to share and again this is not a health channel we're gonna probably be turning it into one but you know we got to get healthy and things and in addition to me cooking and things i'm i'm kind of on my walker situation here so i've been banned from my kitchen so probably do more skincare and health and talk videos of that nature i'm latrice kelly and i'll see you on the next one bye for now